Canoes and kundu drums have always played a significant role in the lives of the people of Milne Bay in Papua New Guinea. And so every year, the people of Milne Bay gather in Alotau to perform, celebrate, and compete in the Canoe and Kundu Festival. My first experience of Papua New Guinea was arriving at the Canoe Festival in Alotau. The Canoe Festival is held uh, annually and it is the second weekend every November. And it is when all the villagers get together and they have competitions and their highlight of the canoe festival is when they get out the uh, war canoes and these canoes are fascinating. There's these guys paddling in these huge war canoes that they've been using for many, many hundreds of years. These canoes are actually, you know, obviously made out of large trees and they hold like 20 to 30 men. You could feel the energy coming from them and they're very, almost, it's almost intimidating. Even though they're like the friendliest people, when they get out there in their canoes and they're paddling, it's, it's like, it just makes your hair stand up. When preparation of a new canoe, there has to be dancing. And the female dances with men beating the kundu, and the warriors are the ones that go on the canoes. Watching the sailing canoes was fun because those things just go fast. They rip across the water. They are really, really fast, yeah. But once there's a nice wind, if they catch a good wind, they run like a 25 horsepower outboard motor, or a 30 horsepower. Reaganomics we were raised on Ice cube, slick brick Artifacts to alter that we prayed on Fresh mark The traditional canoes, the sailing canoes uh, They have the sails like built of uh, bandana sleeves that have been sewed up together to make one wide it, it looks like a canvas, yeah Yeah, otherwise some other people they weave coconut leaves they weave them and make them really thick and strong, so they, they put them as sails to the real traditional canoe, it has to be out of bandana leaves or coconut leaves. What's so amazing about PNG is that there is 800 languages in this country, so that you tend to find that each area has their own culture, and that culture is quite different to everyone else. The generation still want to do it like the, the old people. And uh, not just that, but it, it gives them more courage once you are with, uh, with traditional costumes. Mumbai is, is, uh, is a mar maritime province. So a lot of islands. So people use canoes to get from one, one island to the other. Everyone that lives here has an affinity with the water. And so many, many years ago, and I was still to a certain extent today, their mode of transport is canoe. And so it has a lot of meaning in their lives and a lot of purpose in their lives. So they get together every year to celebrate that. They have trading canoes where they used to go from you know, down the coast where they would trade their pottery and their baskets for food um, from other villages. And that's where they use canoes. And that's why the festival is meant for cool, uh, those canoes that they used in the past. That was like my introduction to Papua New Guinea. It really is a great festival to come and visit. You know, seeing all the culture, experiencing the welcoming nature of the people was my first experience of Papua New Guinea at the Canoe Festival. And it was a great way to start the trip. 